Welcome to this video presentation in which we introduce what's known as the general form of a difference equation. So hopefully you appreciate that a difference equation is used to mathematically describe how a, or, or sorry, mathematically describe how a um, discrete system works. So after the presentation you should be able to do these four things here. Um, they won't make much sense to you at the moment because you've no idea what B and A coefficients are, but maybe refer to this at the end and see whether you get all the key points. Um, so we'll just crack on with um, with the presentation. And during this presentation, we're going to make use of, of two difference equations. First one we'll say is y of n is equal to, let's see, 3x of n plus um, 0.5 x of n minus 2. Okay, and in this, the second one, we'll say y of n is equal to, let's see, um, x of n plus 0.2 y of n minus 1 plus y of n minus 2. Okay, so this one has feedback, this one has no feedback. Hopefully you understand those terms. Um, okay, so let's draw out the difference equation for each one, or sorry, the signal flow diagram. We have an input, x of n, which has been multiplied by three. And that input has been added together with a delayed version of the input. In fact, it's not just delayed once, it's delayed twice. The n minus two there shows me that. And that's been multiplied by 0 0.5 and fed into the system to give me my output y of n. Okay, and this one we'll do quickly as well. Uh, we have our input, x of n. That's been added together with a few terms. It's been added with, um, well, it's been added with the output which has been delayed by 1 and that's been multiplied by let's see, I'll actually put the multiply term above that um, that's been multiplied by 0 0.2 and the output delayed by 2 has been multiplied by well it's actually not multiplied by anything no, it's been multiplied by 1 so that's been fed into the system so that's the difference, or sorry, a signal flow diagram associated with this, each of those difference equations. Okay, um, now let's get on to the difference equation, the general form of a difference equation. Um, the general form of a difference equation is given by this equation. I want to draw the, or write it out, the less commonly used way first. So the less commonly way, uh, used way is as follows. b0 x of n plus b1 x of n minus 1 plus b2 x of n minus 2. Now you're going to have to bear with me for a little while. This will eventually, I hope, make some sense. Sorry, b3 x of n minus 3. So we have a b0 coefficient be multiplied by the input plus a b1 coefficient be multiplied by the input delayed by one sample plus a b2 coefficient been multiplied by the input delayed by two samples. So hopefully you can appreciate that. And an A0 coefficient plus an A1 coefficient. So we have what's referred to as A and B coefficients here. Uh, plus A2 times Y of N minus 2. Now, uh, whoops, just and a bit untidy, but that should be n minus 2. So whatever the coefficient value is, the delay, that's, that's associated with the how many samples the input or output has been delayed by. Um, so I hope you can appreciate that. Now, the beat, this, this would go on, so this could go plus b4 x of n minus 4, plus b5 x of n minus 5, so that goes on forever, and likewise this side of the equation goes on forever. So that would be plus a3 y of n minus 2. Okay. Now I know this is going to be confusing for a little while, but please just bear with me. Um, now, 
that's that that is one form of the difference equation and you can see that it's it's symmetrical we have b0 coefficients on the right hand side and a0 coefficients on the left hand side the a0 is being multiplied by y of n the b0 is being multiplied by x of n a1 is being multiplied by y of n minus 1 which is the output delayed by one sample and the b1 coefficient is being multiplied by the input delayed by one sample so there's a certain amount of symmetry or balance across the equation but that isn't the most common way this is written normally this equation is written as follows it's reorganized so that the output is shown on its own on the left and I will I'll show the a0 coefficient there in a different color for, for a good reason but that's equal to b0 x of n plus b1 x of n minus 1 plus b2 x of n minus 2 plus b3 x of n minus 3 plus b4 x of n minus 4 and so on so that's plus that goes on forever and I'll just show the a coefficients because because the a coefficients are brought over the other side of the equation of course that would be a1 y of n minus 1 minus a2 y of n minus 2 minus a3 y of n minus 3 and minus a4 y of n minus 4 and if I had room I'd put a5 and so on and so on okay now this would be the very common um, way of writing out what's known as the this is the general form of the difference equation basically okay and why do we use it well let's show how we use it first of all maybe let's look at let's compare this general form of the difference equation with the difference equation for this system here. Um, looking at that difference equation, well what's the a0 coefficient? Well a0 would be equal to, just comparing the two, a0 is equal to 1 and just make a note, mental note there, a0 is almost always equal to 1. The a2 coefficient, or sorry, missed one, a1 coefficient, well the a1 is associated to with or multiplied by a delayed version of the um, output which is delayed by one sample and there's no delayed output in this discrete system so a1 is equal to 0 as is a2 sorry these look like j's but they're meant to be semicolons uh, so a2 would be equal to 0 and a3 would be equal to zero and so on. I know that that's a little bit messy but I hope you can see what I'm up to. And the B coefficients, let's look at the B co let's look at the B coefficients. So B zero. Comparing the difference equation for the general in the general form with the system difference equation, B zero would be equal to three. B one would be equal to um well it's not listed there, um up here. There's no X N minus one term. We could show it I suppose in the signal flow diagram. We could show it here. But that would be multiplied by zero. But we generally don't show that at all. So B1 would be equal to zero. And B2 would be equal to well the B2 coefficient looking down here is being multiplied by the input delayed by two and the input delayed by two is being multiplied by 0 0.5 here. So B2 is 0 0.5 b3 would be equal to 0 and that would go on forever so all the other coefficients the are, are all the other coefficients are 0 other than the ones that I've listed there um, now let's look at this other difference equation and I suppose an important point is the only non-zero coefficient a coefficient in this system is a0 all the other a coefficients are 0 um, and you'll see that only a system with feedback paths will have a coefficients. Okay, so let's list out the a coefficients here. A zero equals again comparing a zero will be equal to one. And again, I'm going to state that the a zero coefficient is almost always equal to one. A one will be equal to. Um, well the a1 coefficient or minus a1 is being multiplied by the delayed version of the output so it's delayed by one sample 
So A1 will be equal to, well, minus 0 0.2. A2 will be equal to, well, what's been multiplied by the output delayed by two samples? Well, 1, the value of 1 has been multiplied by the output by de delayed by two samples. So A2 will be equal to, well, it's equal to minus 1. Okay, um, and let's write out the B coefficients now. B0 will be equal to, well, B0 will be equal to 1. I hope you can see what I'm doing. B2, sorry, B1 will be equal to 0. B2 will be equal to 0. And all the other B coefficients will be equal to 0. Okay, so in this case, um, only the A0 was. Um, O only the A0 coefficient was non-negative. All other A coefficients were negative, or sorry, not negative, zero. Um, and over here, uh, the B coefficients are all uh, zero, with the exception of B0. So all the B coefficients, with the exception of B0, is are zero. Um, and this system has feed-forward paths only, and this one has feedback paths only. Okay. Uh, with the exception of the XN and the YN parts. Okay, um, that's an introduction to, I, I'm running out of time, so I'm, go, I'm going to carry this on in, a, in the next presentation. Um, but the key point is that the, the systems can now be described, rather than by difference equations, we can describe systems using simply B and A coefficients. So I'll see you in the next presentation.